This is a video about getting rank 14 in classic. Now, as I said, I don't know if I'm going to get rank 14 or not. It seems kind of unlikely, but uh, it's possible. And so uh, I'll see basically what this guy says how to do it or how this guy says how to do it. Okay. So, you want to be rank 14 in classic, huh? Oh my god, I wish that was me. Well, pull up a comfy chair. Yeah, you're goddamn stock right. Stock up on the Mountain Dew. And get your poop socks ready and cash in your unemployment checks because you're going to Oh! Getting the Grand Marshal okay. or a High Warlord titles is one of the most hardcore goals you can reach in classic. I really don't like. I want to show you guys something I fucking hate right here. Check this out. See this? This little gap between the chest piece and the legs where it shows the guy's stomach it's fucking disgusting like i i don't know why they'd have that in the game it's literally the dumbest fucking thing about about vanilla wow and they never added a belt they have a belt for paladins only but not for anything else besides that uh warriors cannot use the belt it's the worst thing it's one That's of the a belly most hardcore shirt. goals you can reach in classic it doesn't really compare to being a hardcore raider because at the end of the day you hit a ceiling when you're raiding where you just have all the gear and consumables that you can possibly get but to be a grand marshal or a high warlord you need to play around like 12 hours a day for around three months and you can't that's not even a big deal I mean, that's not even a lot i mean most people play the game 12 hours a day I, I don't see how this is even much of a thing. Like, there are a lot of people that I know that play the game 12 hours a day. It, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, and for only three months, you do it for three months, then you're done with it. Take breaks either. So why do this grind? Well, for the gear and the admiration of your fellow neckbeard. Right, of course. <laughs> yeah. But before we get into the rewards, let's go into detail on how the whole system works. So the PvP system is going to be okay. implemented in Phase 2 of Classic, so at launch you will not see it. But how it works is okay. there's 14 different ranks, and you start at rank 1, and you gain ranks each week by killing a lot of players on the enemy faction. But that's kind of just the simple explanation. In order to rank, you need a resource called Honor. You gain Honor by playing BGs and killing enemy players. Okay. Players need to be within 10 levels of you to give honor. If you camp a player and kill them multiple times, you will get less and less honor each kill. Players of a high rank will... That's my guild tabber. That was my guild tabber from Classic WoW. That son of a bitch. A message to you. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? It, it's not quite s fun, but it's almost s fun. What's this asshole trying to say? Get less and less honor each kill. Players of a high rank okay. will also grant you more honor when you kill them. This happens in Classic WoW. This happens all the time. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, see? See, they knew. They did it on purpose. I See, I told you guys. Okay. That sucks, dude. So you can gain that actually honorable sucks. kills by killing players on the enemy faction, but you can also gain dishonorable kills by killing opposing faction civilian NPCs during PvP combat. These okay. dishonorable kills will quickly lower your PvP rank, and you can lose hours of progress by killing one NPC. Even if you're grouped up with somebody and they kill an enemy NPC, you still suffer the consequences. I was in a group and this dipshit got in a fight, a world PvP fight in, I think it was like Booty Bay or some shit, and he ended up killing one of the guards and I lost my exalted bonus for that. I flipped the fuck out on this guy. Like, I think I kicked him out of the guild or something like that. It made me so mad. And I'm still actually not even, uh, I'm still just revered. Like, okay, everything else is exalted, but this one fucking faction, I haven't revered. I need one point from Gadget Sand. All I need to do is go over there and get it, but I haven't yet. Uh, we are still, by the way, looking for one more ranged for a Mechagon Mythic hard mode. Please join up if you can.
We have a healer. We got a healer. We just need one more ranged. It's such bullshit, dude. So you get honor each week, and it's converted into rank points on reset day. Rank points okay. are required to rank up, get a higher title, and get better Rank rewards. points are required to rank up. Unfortunately, you lose 20% of your rank points each reset day, so you're in a constant uphill battle. And the higher in the ranks you get, the more and more you need to play to fight off that 20% deduction. Yep. This deduction also stops yep. you from taking breaks from the grind. That's so right. No if breaks. if you have exams to do, well, too bad. And if you need extra time Just to go to school for work, five years well, instead of four, that sucks. Because your grandma Doesn't die, matter. well, uh, she probably isn't going to help you get rank 14 anyways. Not Which anymore. Which is funny because remember that loading tip that's in the game that says take Warcraft in moderation? That's a lie. Well, that was a bold face. Devs lie. are casual. Blizzard overlords are lying to you. <laughs> that's true. So, how much honor is one rank point? Well, uh, that's kind of a complicated answer. Let okay. me introduce brackets. Brackets are what dictate how many oh, rank no. points you are going to get for that week. A specific percentage of all active PvPers fit into one of these brackets. Oh my god. In order to be eligible to get in one of these brackets, you need at least 25 kills that week. Oh the higher amount of honor god, you farm, dude. the higher you will be placed into one of these brackets for the week. The high ranking brackets are going to be super difficult to get into. Bracket Holy 14, shit. aka the highest bracket, allows for only 0.003% of eligible players. Hypothetically, let's say that 5,000 people are in this bracket system. That means that only 15 players are going to be able to get into that top bracket. Holy this fuck. whole system forces players not only to fight the enemy faction, yeah. but fight their fellow comrades to reach the top bracket for maximum RP. Oh yeah, yeah. And by fight, what they really mean is collaborate together and trade rank 14 among themselves while they play all day. Who the fuck is now this? Have you know, I've been playing this game before you were even born. What the? Get the top spot, no matter what. <laughs> While you were playing private servers, what the I fuck? got the real deal way back in 2004. So you, my friend, can leave my balls. Oh, now take boy. This, you okay. Crazy don't get some of this road rash pain. What the <laughs> fuck is on his hand? That's gonna be my teeth. Thankfully, players can come to a compromise if they play nice. Within e no, that, that's that's actually exactly what happens. You have obviously, you know, some guy that's a doctor, and then some other neckbeard that are basically going at it to get rank uh, rank fourteen. That's pretty much exactly the way that it works. Uh, again, guys, so uh, please queue up if you have the Mechagon achievement. We only need one more person, and we'll be ready to go after this video. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a person by then. Each bracket, there's an RP floor and ceiling. Okay. So for example, in bracket 14, the lowest honor earning person in the bracket gets 12,000 RP, hmm. and the highest honor earning player gets 13,000 RP. But if all players coordinate themselves to get the exact same amount of honor, mm -hmm. everyone in the bracket will get maximum RP. Okay. This takes quite a bit of coordination, and if someone decides to go haywire and farm more honor, it ruins it for everybody else. Yep. This method of matching honor is called bracket stacking, and it can shave off a lot of time for the rank 14 grind as long as everyone isn't stupid. So we need to collaborate. The opposite effect where two guilds or more compete with each other to get these top bracket spots, right. and it just turns into an arms race on who can waste more of their life for virtual items in a 14-year-old game. So Each we'll win that. 100% we'll win that. We'll win that. 20 deduction I mentioned earlier. Okay. Eventually, after many weeks, you can reach these thresholds and finally rank up. Hey, right. come on over here. Whoa! Oof. Congratulations, you are our next okay. contestant on Rank Up. Ranking up is not an easy task. So are you ready to see what you've won? Oh boy, am I. For Rank 1, you get the basic Faction Tavern. Wow! Now, rank 2, your PvP Trinket. Okay, that's actually Okay, useful. that's good. Rank 3, a crappy cloak and a discount on all factions. The cloak members. actually does suck. Yes! Good. I love coupons. Okay, awesome. Rank four, a necklace. That's kind of boring. Yeah, it is. Rank five, some bracers. Those are actually pretty good. What do you think? 
Yeah. Oh, but you'll like this one. Rank six gives you access to the officer's barracks, a tabard, yep. and potions. Yep. Oh, man, I bet all the cool people hang out in the barracks. <laughs> Hello? Anyone? Mm, maybe there's more in the horde one. I'll be honest. Like, the first time that I ever went into the Champion's Hall, I felt like I was going into a bar to buy a drink for the first time. Like, that was my version of it. Like, I finally had, I had lived my life as a boy, and I had become a man. I walked inside, I'm like, what up, boys? What up? I'm here now. I was so happy, man. I, I Honestly, it was, it, was a, it was such a good feeling. Nope. No. Nobody here either. Hey, hero, where do you think you're going? Whoa! Oof. Wow, you look a bit different from oh, last thrall. time I saw you. Wow. Anywho, rank seven, you get some boots and gloves. Wait, I don't think I'm in the right place. Rank eight, you get some chest armor and leggings. Sir, yep. I... Rank nine gives you the battle standard, and you can throw it down anywhere, and it increases your party's health. Okay. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Rank 10 gives you the rest okay. of the blue set. Congratulations. This doesn't even fit me. Well, you like this one That's hero. great. For rank 11, you get your own epic mount. N nice doggy. C come here, boy. That's a good boy. Don't worry about him. Wow. Now this is where the real rewards are, hero. Okay. Rank 12 gives you your chest, leggings, and boots for your epic set. Uh I only got to Knight Lieutenant in Classic WoW, but whenever the uh, the pre-patch or whatever came out where you're able to just farm honor and get the gear, whenever I finished my fucking set and I got the whole Field Marshal set, the, gr the Grand Marshal set, I was so happy. Casual? Well, you're, you're right. I, I, I didn't really get... I mean, I was in high school then. I could only play maybe like eight hours a day. And uh, it was it was kind of disappointing, honestly, that I didn't get to play more. I, I wish, honestly, that I had started a while earlier because I started in July of 2006. So I hit 60 in vanilla. I did some raids in vanilla. I, you know, yeah, yeah, sure. But I never did uh, I never did all of the content in the way that I would have wanted to. And there were a number of reasons for that. You know, my parents were divorced, so I couldn't meet raid times because I had to go visit my dad, etc. It was kind of shitty. But if it was up to me, man, I would have started at age 13 or 14 as soon as the game came out and I would have just played the game all fucking day that's all I would have done I remember there was like every other weekend I wouldn't go over to my dad's house and I remember every other weekend on Saturday I would get up I would get a Gatorade I would put the ice cubes in the Gatorade and I would play the game from like fucking 11 p.m. to like 4 a.m. and that was it that's all I would do it was beautiful Every other weekend I had that one day. Oh, I can get used to this. Rank 13 gives you helm, shoulders, and gloves. Oh and finally, for rank 14, you get your epic weapons. Yep. There it is, dude. I have the power! Yep. Hey, wait a minute. Wait. Wait, no. Well, he's got no, the weapon it's, now. It's Don't worry it about it. Just like. kill him. Please, no. And here we have the Oh, boy. I'm more thrills, and I'm going to teach you how to survive. So, that's the classic PvP system and how you get rank 14. The system as a whole is criticized by a good sum of the player base because, well, it kind of sucks. First it does off, suck. Um, a whole section of the game that's about killing yeah, the enemy faction uh, probably should not be about fighting your faction. It's needlessly that's complicated yeah. and rewards burning your life away rather than actually... I actually disagree with that. I disagree with that. I, I think that finding your own... By Wait, we're still... Uh... All right, down this week. Yeah, we need one more person for uh, for Mechagon Mythic Guard mode. I want to say it before. I think that it's like glad you know the gladiators, right? Like Rome would go out there and kill other uh, you know people, right? They kill other people, but then they would come back and they'd also kill each other. And that's where the real excitement happens because not only do you have to compete for favor out in the battlefield, but you come back and then you kill your own people and then you fight with them and you compete for favor with your friends, right? You have the Colosseum, you have gladiators. Or well, it's not really about like who is which one. Yeah, obviously the centurions and the legionnaires that are leading and, you know, doing everything in the Roman army, making decisions are not the same ones that are fighting in the gladiator ring. Yeah, okay. But it's the same general concept. I think that you should have to fight against your own, uh, your own faction to know who's the best of the best.
right? I, I don't know. I just think that makes sense. Like in like a warrior society. Being good at PvP. Then again, most rewards in Classic are about spending a lot of time, so maybe it all makes sense. I will give the system the benefit of the doubt by saying that it absolutely breeds player interaction, aka yep. what Classic is all about. You compete with players on your faction and clicks are made, enemies are established, and it's really just a community experience that all PvPers are kind of just thrusted into and must be a part of if they dream of getting those high ranks. So. Are you interested in getting rank 14 now? Nice picture. N no, not really. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching my video, and I That's hope it? you guys enjoyed it. A lot of time, no, research, really. and money was put into making it the okay. best it could possibly be. All right. And it would not be possible without my patrons. This is so a really good like video. Cohen, uh, I, I like it a lot. I'm going to link it in chat. Laster, Caleb Bigwin, Bagging Balls, I'm going to give it a like. Finis, Ciro, Guru, Blue Moon, Great video. MK, awesome fucking jobs. Are all people that I can No special appearance by your boy. As well as uh, all these other people. Yeah, I, I had a few Thank special appearances actually. Me. And uh, you're really Fuck, cool. Fuck, man. Fun. If this is your first time watching this channel, well, uh, there's a lot more other videos you can watch. So, uh, yeah, and you can also like and subscribe. There you and, go, uh, dude. Let me go down here. Long story short, if you actually want to go for rank 14, you should probably rethink your life. I appreciate all the JoJo references. You're absolute madman. I don't want to be ranked 14. Thanks. Uh, let's see. We need more bear thrills. Uh, you have to play 12 hours a day to get past rank 10 or 11. You want to hit rank 14. You can casually rank up to 10 or so, then go hardcore after. This is implying that 12 hours a day is casual. And uh, that's... Oh, wait. So, sorry. I, I, I misread that. Never mind. Uh, I, I would say, like, if you're casual in Classic WoW for farming ranks, you're probably only playing like six hours a day. I would say anything under playing six hours a day is pretty casual. And then once you get into like the eight and ten hour, that's whenever you're kind of in the, you know, you're in the game, but you're not really going to win. And I'd say like ten hours plus is whenever you really get the serious players and the people that want to win. Uh, that's what I would say. Uh, not actually, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, this, count, this comment's actually, actually pretty good. Um, everyone hits rank 14, they should automatically be put on a list of people needing an intervention. Yeah, that's probably true. They should just give people, a fr they should refund all their sub money and give them a year of therapy for free if they, uh, if they end up winning or uh, get rank 14. Yeah, there you go. Fourth Grand Marshal on my server, it was awful. More like 16 hours a day. But you could AFK during queues. I remember one day the servers went down for the whole day, and that was the only day during the entire grind that I got some decent sleep. Hope they change it for Classic. I can't wait for Asmongold to react to this. No one tell him. Actually, nobody did tell me. I had no idea what to expect from this. The video was actually really good. I thought they put a lot of work into the video, and I liked it a lot. So, uh, great job, Plat Platinum Wow. I'll link the video again in chat if you guys want to watch it again. There you go. Uh, new Nixium video's up. Uh, let me just... We're going to do the uh, 